families in the Livista community today send their children to one of four elementary schools as well as a middle school, all located within the city limits. When the community was founded in 1960 though, La Vista's children attended school in one of several single family homes while the school district constructed the city's first school buildings. La Vista's birth as a city and growth as a community presented quite a quandary to the Papillion School District. Those moving into the House of Nines were by and large young families with several school aged children per household. I think the school district was in a position where this area was growing so fast with young families, they all had children, and they couldn't build buildings fast enough to house all the children. So that was an alternative. They worked out a, an agreement of some sort with the developer. He built the houses and, you know, I'm sure about all those details, but it was a way to accommodate the growth before they could actually get school buildings built. So. Prior to new school construction, La Vista students attended class in houses renovated for educational use. Ramirez's family was one of the first to move to La Vista, and she attended second grade in 1961 in one of the cottages on 72nd Avenue. By fifth grade, she and her classmates moved to another cottage on Lillian Avenue. You know, you brought your marbles. and I mean, it was very, a very much simpler time. Um, there wasn't playground equipment or any of that, so you just made up your own fun when you were outside, and, and literally, Everyone walked to school and it didn't really matter what the weather was or, you know. One memory of attending school in the houses still sticks out to Ramirez, the day John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I remember that specifically because um, when we went home for lunch that day, things were just starting to break. So the news was on and, um, you know, my mom was watching and, and then we went back to school and when we went back to school, um, the teachers had TVs and that was not a thing in those days that you always had TVs in the room and, um, but they had TVs and everyone was watching it was you know it was a major world event and so I think very impactful for students who were in fifth grade at the time it's like that history because there was just this sense you know like I think it's like if you remember you know something occurred in like 9-11 like you remember that day and and you could tell that it was that way for the adults. You know, it was like this was a huge, huge deal. And um, so, yeah, I do remember that. In 1963, an $800,000 bond issue was approved to construct, among other facilities, La Vesta West and G. Stanley Hall Elementary Schools. These new schools replaced the cottages scattered throughout the community and added quality and convenience to the student experience. A much bigger degree. So, yeah, it was a big change. It was. Um, it was pretty exciting and you had playground equipment and you know it was like it was like a real school.